Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be a reaction to a video done by Nikki Sky, and in the thumbnail she said, it's all a lie. And then in the title, she talks about selling all of her designer handbags. Nikki Sky has been an influencer for quite some time and has amassed quite a large collection of amazing designer handbags. And she has decided that since she's had children, that her priorities have shifted and that now she does not feel comfortable. She's almost embarrassed to carry anything with a recognizable logo. So she's getting rid of all of it, all of the clothes, all of the bags out of her closet if it has a recognizable logo. And so I thought I would talk to you a little bit about how I feel about the video, as well as what would happen in my closet if I got rid of everything except for things that did not have what I consider to be a recognizable logo. And that would entail going from 78 bags down to 18. A huge amount of downsizing, and it's probably similar to what she's doing in her own closet. Now, Nikki has hired a service to help her sell all of these handbags. And so if you're interested in picking up one, I will link her video down below and you can check out what she has for sale. She has a lot of gorgeous Chanel bags that have a CC turn lock and she does not find those acceptable anymore. They're embarrassing. Now, what do I think about being embarrassed or uncomfortable about carrying bags? I can tell you that I have definitely been there. There are some situations where I don't feel comfortable carrying certain bags. And I definitely think there are a lot of people who would feel the same way. The way she is going about doing her downsizing does feel like she is trying to impose her views a little bit on the rest of us by the way she shares. It just makes me feel like she is telling me what I'm doing is wrong by collecting like I do. And now she's realized that she was wrong. And so therefore now she's right. Does that make any sort of sense? I am not going to downsize my collection from 78 down to 18 bags, but I thought it would be interesting to see what the 18 would be if I did that and what I would have left to wear because it wouldn't be nearly as fun to come into my closet to pick my bag if I only had 18. And when I say only, I realize 18 is a lot of bags. Before I was 40, I had probably like seven bags, eight bags, and I never really had more than that. And now I have like 78 bags, which is redonkulous. And if I narrowed it down to 18, that would probably be a lot more normal than what I am now. That said, everybody chooses to collect something, at least most everybody, and I've chosen to collect handbags. I've collected other things over the years. I've collected, I've talked about this before, when I was a kid I collected precious moments and miniatures. I collect clothes and shoes and jewelry because when I find something I like a lot of times I buy more than one of it, as you may have noticed with my closet. And so I think we should get into this and figure out what the heck my collection would look like if I went from 78 to 18. I'm going to actually show you 10 bags today because some of them I have multiples of. And so in the interest of time, we're going to look at 10. First, I'd like to show you my bag of the day, and that would be my Louis Vuitton Keep All from the Aqua Garden collection. It's the size 25 and I've added some Samorga pearls to it. I actually cut them shorter so they would fit this bag and I love the look because with the design looking like it has water droplets on it, I sort of feel like pearls are appropriate. It's a beachy kind of bag and so that is my bag of the day. Some of the bags that have made me feel a bit uncomfortable when I've been out in public are my Gucci Marmot bags. And this one is the most low key out of the bunch. And this isn't one of the 10 that I'm going to show you that I would have left if I did reduce my collection from 78 to 18. But I just wanted to show you that when I carry this with the GG on the front, I feel like people are going to see and they're going to know. And sometimes I don't think it's appropriate to carry it to maybe sports events or super casual type events. And so that is one example of what Nikki might find inappropriate. In fact, I'm pretty sure she would find this inappropriate. This logo is way bigger than a CC. Another thing she wouldn't consider low-key luxury would be this particular wristlet or any of the YSL bags that I have. This one has a plaque on it like pretty much all of my Saint Laurent bags and it is 
definitely not low key. The third bag I want to show you, and of course I have many more that I don't find low key, would be anything Louis Vuitton monogram. I feel like it's a very neutral pattern and it goes with a lot because of that, but it is probably the most recognizable monogram print out there as far as designer bags go. And so for that reason, this one is definitely not going to be low key luxury. And so the least inconspicuous of the bunch I have to show you today would be the Clapton. This does say Louis Vuitton on it, but it's really small. And it's one of those things, if you know, you know. And so I do feel like this would be part of the 18 bags I would have left if I went all low-key luxury and didn't have anything that was obviously a brand. Most people who aren't into luxury don't really know about this print as much anyways as the Louis Vuitton monogram print. So that's number one. Number two would be my mini Bayswater bags. I have two of these, so I guess it's number two and three. And this one is in the color pigment blue, just in case you are curious, but there's really no logos on this bag. It does have a little logo right there, but it's not something anybody would notice unless they just knew. So this would be number two and three of the 18 I would have left. I have a couple of dress up your purse bags that make it into this bunch. I do have two of the mini Boston style bags, and I will link both of the dress up your purse styles that I'm going to show today down below. But this is definitely a low key, and I don't know if you would call it luxury. I consider it more contemporary, but if I sold all my bags. This one would be number four and number five of the 18 bags that I would have left. Next, let's do some long shop. I have three of the extra small size bags left. I am not including larger totes in this video. I'm just including what I consider to be handbags. And so this would be number six, seven, and eight of the 18 bags I would have left. And when you look at this bag, really all you see is the horse. It does say Longchamp on the button, but it's definitely not something that's like bam in your face. This is a designer or contemporary bag. And so that's why this one and its two sisters make the list. For numbers nine and 10 of the 18, I have the beautiful Christian Dior Caro bag in the medium size. Now this one does have a CD on the front, but to me, it doesn't really look like a CD. So it's also a brand that's not as well known as like Chanel or Louis Vuitton, at least to people who aren't familiar with luxury. So this one and the gray one that I have would be number nine and number 10 of the 18 bags that I have left. Number 11 would be my coach camera bag. There really is no noticeable branding on this bag. There's little bits of it on all the hardware, but it's not something that sticks out. I've paired it with a strap that I had from my tally bag that I had quite a while ago. And so with this strap, it has no real logos. The strap it came with has coach written on it. So if I really did get rid of 60 of my bags, this one would be left, but I would have to get rid of the strap it came with. So my Paris 15 from Dress Up Your Purse would be number 12 of the 18 bags that I would have left. This bag, as well as pretty much all Dress Up Your Purse bags, have no real recognizable logos on them, and that makes them very low key. There is something on the zipper pull, and pretty much all these bags have something on the hardware, but this would make the list of the 18 bags I would have left if everything else had to go. Numbers 13 and 14 would be my Mulberry Little Softies. I have them in this beautiful Mulberry Green as well as Black with Silver hardware. And once again, just like the Bayswater, it has such minimal branding that I don't think most people would notice it. And that's why it's definitely a quiet type luxury bag. For numbers 15, 16, and 17 would be my Mulberry Mini Alexas. I have them in this pale gray color, Mulberry Pink, as well as Lilac Blossom. And I feel like a broken record, but with Mulberry bags, there just really isn't super noticeable branding. And what I find interesting is I've gotten really into Mulberry and Dress Up Your Purse lately, and they're all minimal branding. So am I being influenced to buy things that are less recognizable? It's certainly a possibility, although I do have some very recognizable branding that I'm going to be opening up with you in May. And so perhaps this is just a fleeting trend for me. The final bag of the 18 is a bag I take for trips, and that would be my Longchamp backpack. And so out of the 18, Mulberry and Longchamp take the cake in terms of having the highest numbers in my collection. And 
they both are very quiet in terms of how flashy they are and showing what they are. And the backpack is the same thing. You have it on the hardware just a little bit and a little horse on the flap. But other than that, it's pretty, pretty low key. So those are 10 of the 18 that I would keep if I reduce my collection by 60 and went with all low key bags like Nikki Sky is doing. And I have to say, I think I would be pretty bored. I could certainly live with that collection. It's a pretty varied collection. I have stuff that I could wear for casual and I have stuff that I could wear for dressy. So that's a good thing. So I could make it work. But the question is, is do I want to? Do I want to get rid of everything? And the answer is no, I don't wanna get rid of everything right now. I really enjoy what I have and I actually have some more on the way. I did find a bag to replace the soft tabby that I sold by Coach and I don't know why I did that, but I did find a bag to replace that bag. And so it is on its way. And I also have a few more surprises up my sleeve. Of course, there's the bag that the boys bought me for Mother's Day, which is back there in that bag. I don't know if you can see it right there. And I haven't had it out to use. So I'm excited to get that out with you. And then also there is the May bag that I allotted for myself that I can't wait to show you. I've actually used that one. I know I should have waited, but this way I can tell you what I think whenever I reveal it to you. So I think that's pretty cool. And that one definitely, most definitely, is not quiet luxury and neither is this one back here. You will have to let me know what you think. I want you, if you do have a handbag collection, to look at what you have and determine if you had to reduce all your logos, whether it's luxury or contemporary, what would you have left? Would you have very many or would most of your bags be considered low key. I am just kind of fascinated by the fact that somebody can swing like Nikki Sky did from one side of the pendulum of collecting in a lot of people's minds what might be considered excessively to going to where she has virtually nothing. I mean, is it because she is bored with her channel and she wants to do something different? Is it something she really feels right now? Is she going to regret doing this in a couple years when her kids are a little older? I think that that is very likely. I think you will see her probably swing back the other way when her kids are perhaps teenagers in like 10 years if she's still on YouTube. Because when your kids get older, they become less needy, less handsy. I mean, having designer handbags with kids with Cheetos on their hands or having milk in a bottle in your designer handbag, it just isn't very functional. And whenever my kids were really little, I didn't have many designer bags. I didn't have any. I had Coach. And when my kids were a little older and they don't feel the need to grab onto my bag or open my bag, it became something that I could enjoy and not worry about. And so if I had a crystal ball, I would predict that Nikki Sky and some of the other influencers who have stopped collecting designer bags because they started a family and figured out that it didn't fit in with the family life, that when their family changes, that they may change as well. But only time will tell. And there are certainly some influencers who have just stopped collecting because it got to be too much and family had nothing to do with it. Those are my thoughts on the Nikki Sky video. Again, I will link it down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there is the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.